Hey, what's up guys? Apple did release iOS 11.4 beta 2 today, and although not a very big update, it does come with several changes, and a couple being the removal of some features, which I'm kind of mystified about. Why would they do that? In any case, let's go ahead and cover what's changed and what's new in iOS 11.4 beta 2. So first off, the biggest change, one that many owners of iPhone 8 and 8 Plus devices will be happy to hear, is that there is a new wallpaper. So if you actually jump into the stills, you'll see a new wallpaper here, but it's only exclusive on those certain devices. So iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. It's the exclusive wallpaper, as you can see here, for the product red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus models, but now you can get it on any iPhone 8 device. See, Apple's strategy with the wallpapers is so confusing to me. Why do they keep switching things up, making exclusive things, and then sometimes they bring them all over to all devices later? I, I just don't understand it. But in any case, you'll find a new wallpaper like this in the wallpaper settings. There's also a new setting exclusively for the iPhone 10 users with the folio case, with the magnetic locking folio case. Now this one was found by iDevice Help, so a little shout out to him. Uh, but anyways, let me set this one up real quick. When you actually use your iPhone with a magnetic sort of locking case now, there will be a new option for a lock and unlock every time you open or close the case. And that can be found here in the settings under display settings. There is a new lock-unlock setting right there, so you can go ahead and toggle it so it won't lock every time you lock it or close the case, and this way it will. So kind of cool that they integrated that feature, much like the iPads, on the iPhone 10 exclusively. And also in this beta, Apple removed any trace of the stereo HomePod speaker pairing system. I don't know why they would do this. They keep working on it, removing on it. Same with iCloud, iMessages. I just don't understand their strategy with this. They keep making it public and then removing it. So we'll see what happens, but this has been removed for now. Maybe it will reappear in the final version of 11.4, or maybe we have to wait until iOS 12 for this feature. Also, another feature that Apple did remove is in iBooks, the actual true black mode is gone. So if you were used to that feature, that was easy on your eyes. It would actually make the background completely black that has been removed in iBooks, unknown if it will make a reappearance. And lastly, developer Rambo on Twitter adds that iOS 11.4 Beta 2 includes a new daemon with embedded configuration profiles for different beta trains, including internal. So this basically means, in my understanding, is that you can install an iOS beta and then an internal of that beta at the same time using separate uh, configuration profiles. And then uh, in a response, basically, as expected, didn't work on the outside, but seems you can install it on the HomePod. So I'm sure that this is the method for installing the beta software on the home pods which would allow the stereo pairing for apple employees and uh, yeah it's a little over my head but basically install two separate beta configuration profiles at the same time all right so other than that i can't really speak for the performance i'm not running it on my device but seems very similar to ios 11.3 so i'm gonna go ahead and run a geekbench as is tradition here see if we get anything different in terms of numbers. But I am happy to see that Apple is continuing to work on more betas of iOS 11, making it better before the release of iOS 12. Okay, and wow, that is the highest multi-core score I think I've ever seen on an iPhone 10, 10,506 and a pretty normal single core score. So very high marks here on beta two, beta one, pretty much the same thing, a little bit lower multi-core score. So there it is guys, pretty decent firmware. I'm hoping that it'll add stereo support for HomePods by the end of its release. and maybe iCloud in the messages and AirPlay 2 will finally see the light of day. But other than that, not really much has changed. So stay tuned on any updates on this. Have a great day, guys. Peace.